So, you... Wait, no, you don't want to do anything. This is not one of those kind of videos. Well, never mind. Welcome on back to Test My Kai, guys. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again doing another uh, ABC art challenge. Uh, we're on D today. We've done A, B, and C. Um, yeah, so we're doing D, which is uh, the Dai Li. And the Dai Li are um, some bad guys in the show Avatar. Um, some really super secret underground organization in Ba Sing Se. Um, which is um, a kingdom, which is a kingdom. But anyway, enough of enough talking. I wanted to talk about um, uh, using shapes to help you draw easier, draw better, um, and draw quicker. Because a lot of people have troubles with trouble with drawing circles, myself included. Um, because it's it's strange to get something so perfect. Because if you think about a circle, every single section of it is like a sixteenth or something, and every single section has to be exactly the same as the other part. It's just rotated a bunch. So, it, it, think of a, a small little curve just rotated in a bunch of different angles, and you have a circle. And that's really difficult to do. So we have tools available to create a circle with. Um, a perfect circle with just a single tool instead of having to draw by hand. We have the same thing for squares, we have the same thing for other things, um, rectangles, and uh, we have uh, poly tools and stuff like that over on the side, left hand side. And the great thing about the circle tool is that uh, you can use it and kind of manipulate it. And with any with any shape tool, like I said, with squares, even triangle tool, whatever, um, you can always go ahead and draw that circle by using that circle tool, and then you can actually go ahead and realify it, I guess you would say. So I had to go in, and I'm going to do it here in a second, um, but I had to go in and kind of just create a little bit of uh, uh, borders around the edges and kind of you know, me me mess it up and make it look like it's a little more hand drawn because right now it looks too perfect. You can see right now I'm going in and just erasing some pieces, adding some pieces, trying to make it look a little bit more real, uh, a little more hand drawn, which looks much better than having it be super perfect. So, um, something else I want to talk about really quickly is the use of lines to create um, detail. And I do this a lot. I do this in all my drawings. This is kind of my style, just to create those those lines that you always see. And I talk about this quite frequently, but um, for this specific piece, there wasn't too much going on. And you can see, um, especially even in the the concept I'm looking at up there to get the the outfit the way it's supposed to be, there's not a lot going on. It's a pretty solid robe that they have they're wearing. Um, you really can't see too much of his face. I went. I decided to go with no face whatsoever. Um, there's not a lot going on. So the best thing I thought to be able to do was just to add in some lines, do some nice... Um, maybe robe lines of creases or whatever else and and just get some 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 detail in there where there was lacking um so that's pretty much all i want to talk about today is just the the shapes the the lines just try and use as little as possible to get the most from it it's what i like to say so um doesn't really matter what style you're doing what what you are doing if you're painting if you're drawing if you're doing cartoon realistic stuff you can always get something to be the way you want it if you try everything and you do the details. But I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. But until then. Bye bye.